over here, ready? Okay, let's go. Got a new Mesa table station here, and um, Sam and Ashton are working on the bullet connectors for the ESCs that are going to go to our, our uh, Creative Grant Tricock project. As you see here, this is flight test um, bat bone. We're going to use this to learn off of, and then we're going to create our own platform to go along with it. Um, and who's doing that is actually doing a pretty good job, and that's Nick. Come see it. Nick's designing the, the new chassis for the uh, our Scorpion, and this is what we got so far. This is pretty sweet, and we're calling it the MF Scorpion. It's all made out of acrylic. Um, it's pretty strong, actually, and uh, we're going to test it out loosely based off of the bat bone. We'll have all the information and all the stuff later when we get to our builds and, and everything, but he's doing a good job. He's, right now, what are you working on right now? Um, I'm working on the landing part. The feet part the of feet it? part of the tricopter. Okay. And that's the bat bones feet. So this is the bat bones, and then what he's going to do is he's going to design one that kind of, that we can produce with our own laser. Oh, speaking of laser, let's go check out our laser. But while we're walking over there, here's, we did um, some changes, made the table a little bit, uh, cleaned up the table. We're working on our backdrop. Backdrop. We're just kind of kids. Have mess now that we got the new laser, kids are messing with the, the new laser and stuff. So, yes, yeah, they like we like this. It's a little more open space. We had to make it all fancy right here. But let's check out the laser. Okay. So what do we got going on here? We're finishing off the green and then we're gonna start it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me check this out. I mean, isn't that cool? So these are getting all cut out. Hey, John, um, on the red, make it go power 10. Okay. It looks like it's not cutting all the way. Oh, yeah. So they're going to have to use a little more knife work to go with it, but pretty sweet. Really cool. Mateo's got his going on right here. Come over here, right? Check it out. Mateo's got popping out his stuff because they should be good at this. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, he's, he's, he's got it all, got it all cut out. John's our product manager. John, say hi. Okay. Hey. 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 John, are we doing uh, just a... Red Dawn. The Red Dawn? Or no, we're doing the Wolverine. Wolverine? Okay. Okay. I'm going to sit up over here. Ready? Okay, let's go. Changed up. That used to be our old mace room, but now we have this is our kind of our storage area. Kids can you know, put their batteries in here, and we're kind of making it make it on our own. We're gonna get this bad boy back up and flying again. Yeah, the kids have kind of done a good job decorating and making it their own. Here we got a new top ace wall. This is from 2010 all the way to current 13. 
These are all our top aces. These are the kids who excel the Mesa. They can fly themselves, usually is the standard, and they make their own plays. But yeah, they, these guys are, we're all still doing stuff that's still doing with engineering and, and aerospace. Scott Bragg actually flies his own plane now. <laughs> and he's going into aerospace school next uh, next fall. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see what these guys got going. The camera's got something to scratch bill here. What are you calling this thing, Cameron? Um, I'm gonna call it the Cyclone. It's like a concept plane. Yeah. 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 It's cool. It's working. So you had to kind of cut this in a little bit to help out the CG? Yeah. I had to put the motor in because it didn't have enough weight in the front. Cool. Zach, Zach's our newest member. And what do you got, dude? Uh, we got the FT Spitfire here. Is it fly test model? Yep. That's what FT stands for. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Just got all the parts. Folded and I'm ready to rock and roll. As soon as action gets done soldering, we can start building this thing. Awesome. Well, good luck with that one. All right, thanks. Adam, what do you got going on? Scratch building. He's doing this, is his own. Yeah. This is cool. What are you making? Uh, it basically modded B26 for Audrey. Um, this is basically kind of like the main fuselage. Okay. What it's going to do is it's basically going to kind of arc over the main body of the plane. Okay. So it looks more authentic than just regular box, like box. A boxy look. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Oh, that should be cool. Adam's a new member too. Welcome aboard, dude. All right, let's check out some of this. What do you got you going, Trent? Third cannon because they keep breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't, yeah, you just can't cut all the way through. Yeah. Um, this stuff, especially this stuff, you just got to make sure you just break it a little bit. Be good here. And you know what you can always do too is just throw some tape over it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll strengthen it up. So you're doing what? The red dawn? Yeah, red dawn. Nice. And what do you guys got going? Well, we're making the rip slinger. The rip slinger. The rip slinger. Nice. Well, I'm working on like three planes at once. So. I'm working on like three plans at once. Yeah, you got a lot of projects going on. So we're working on the Rip Slinger, and then this is me and Ryan's the project that Team Black Sheep sent us. Okay. It's like a mini wing, and we have all the electronics we're ready to fly. Nice. So, yeah. This is the Black Sheep? Yeah. Check it out, guys. They did a good job with this. So the GoPro sits right here, right? Yeah. Cool. Gotta right. fix this up. Yeah, fix up, clean it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> cool, Team Black Sheep. Thanks for giving us a uh, a wing to practice on. It's pretty cool. Let's look at this guy. Let's see his soldering job here. That's beautiful. It's excellent. Okay, so keep it off to the side. Let's start on the next one. Excellent. All right, Jake's a new member. What do you got going, dude? I'm building the flight test Spitfire. Spitfire. Man, that looks cool. first bevels I've ever done. It looks clean, man. Looks really good. Real good. Who's this? That's Sam's. Oh, Sam. I think he's building the Dark Knight. Dark Knight? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Dark Knight. This has been laser cut out already. These guys are going to get spoiled now. So what do you got going on? Working on, I'm just finished cutting out the F-22 Raptor. So the F-22 Raptor is the new build, right? Yes. Cool. So we got it laser cut it out. Now he's just going to try to dry fit the pieces and make sure it all fits together. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with control surfaces. And, and uh, we kind of go from there. What's, what makes it nicer now with these builds is that the kids are going to are gonna be forced to get smarter, so they're going to have to start drawing on CAD if they want to use the laser engraver. So, you know, like Adam over there was doing his true scratch build style, but for us, now we can do on CAD, and then if something doesn't fit, you just go back and print it out again. You don't have to restart build the whole thing, which makes it really nice. No, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a pretty cool project. So this is going to be the Mesa's version of the F-22 Raptor. Awesome. Let's go over here. Alright Jake, what do you got going? I have the FFP50. It's um foam fighters plane. Nice. Yeah. This is the one that yeah. Paul designed. Paul Frank over at uh, RC Foam Fighters designed this one. Yeah, yeah, I believe this so. Is, this is pretty sweet. Very cool. You're almost ready, man. Yeah. Almost ready. What do you got going? 
Um, I'm starting my own scratch build, and I'm trying to get all these curves into the uh, on the wings. So, Daniel, what's your um? What, are you gonna try to put this on eventually on CAD, so you don't have to continue well, to make it? Well, I'm thinking or? about starting to uh, cut it for my first plane. Okay. And then maybe move on to CAD, seeing how if this plane flies, if I need, and then I might need to CAD. Sweet. Cool. And what do you guys got going on? Um, our MFB2. Yeah. So you guys are making the MFB2? Yep. Sweet. So this is the reference, and you guys laser cut yours. Let me yeah. see how that thing looks. Very nice. Look at that. Perfect. Gotta love the laser cutter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Very cool. What do you got going on? I'm also building an MFB2. You got the MFB2 you want to? Yep. Nice. Very cool. Well, it looks like. The kids have got a lot of projects going on. We're, we're super busy here at uh, I don't know, in a classroom, and God, it looks like we just got projects galore. But it's fun. Uh, that means we're moving forward, and uh, it should be it should be a pretty good season. Well, thanks for walking around with me, and um, stick with us and root the kids on as they get closer to uh, making their new builds. Three, two, one, eight. Set it up again. Uh, right now, we're taking off the main board and everything, so it'll look nice and pretty. Right now, over here, we're moving all this off, so we eventually we can have a shipping area, so it can walk straight to the room instead of having to go all the way And then put another table here.